We are starting the Fear Fest finale playoffs on the EU side with Moxie and Mizixi in the quarterfinal. Chat, here we go. It is a best of five today. I just noticed it says best of seven there on the scoreboard. I will update that. We have got Moxie and Mizixi. These two players are not the same person, and maybe you finally can understand that as they play against each other. No way is Moxie capable of playing two Fennecs at once. At least I don't think. Otherwise, he's ascended to a level that is truly unmatched. Today, he's going to be playing against Mizixi, the Middle Eastern player who has shown how high level he can play at. He played through the qualifier and actually got knocked down out of the winner's finals from Flakes and then was able to be toxic in order to qualify. But he didn't stop there. He was able to get an additional win to make it into the playoffs. And his reward is Moxie on the other side. Moxie, who could not take down TRK, also finished outside of the top slot of his pool, but second place for him. And can he take down the imposter? Everybody who's been watching Mizixi thinks it's just Moxie who's being cheeky and slightly changed his name because, to be fair, players do that all the time. Players love to slightly mix up the way they're spelling their name while keeping it the same. You're keeping the same overall name, but mixing it up. Anyways, Moxie's going to score first. A two dollar donation can't be easy running a tournament like this. You've done a great job and earned my respect. Thank you, Anonymous. I don't know if it's Dr. Known again. Dr. Known donated a couple times with the anonymous name. But either way, whoever it was, thank you. Uh, I like doing it for you. Moxie. Demoing Mizixi off this kickoff. And we've seen Mizixi pre-jumping Moxie's flicks a couple times. The first time around it worked beautifully while we were introing the players. This time, he goes over the top and Moxie able to go up 2-0. There's a chance for this EU tournament to become a completely Middle East tournament in the top four. And the way that would happen is Mizixi needs to beat Moxie here and then Khaled needs to beat Razier's. And then the tournament played exclusively on EU servers will have only Saudi Arabians in the top four. But there's another way that this could go in the quarterfinals. And that is Moxie and Razier's holding it down for EU and both making it into the semifinals. So we'll have to see what the end result is. Mizixi's going to get his first goal and he's going to do it the same way that Moxie likes to. With a nice flick this time into the top right. I'm not sure who's going to have to deal with more crap. Is it going to be Mizixi or Killiers? Every time Killiers does anything of value in a 1v1 game, everyone incessantly spams. Is Rawas playing? Well, this time, <laughs> every time I feel like Mizixi does anything good, people are going to be like, is it Moxie? But luckily, this time he's playing against Moxie. <laughs> so you can't, you can't think that he's Moxie. Nice bump for a second goal. Mizixi, a very exciting player. I think somebody who should be recognized as a top 1v1 winner, just like Cosmic, who is in the same kind of situation from the North American tournament. Moxie is going to flick past Mizixi, though, who needs to do his best not to let Moxie get to these positions. So many different times he's been forced to back off, let Moxie carry the ball, and Moxie, who knows how to flick to the top right now, is going to be a menace to deal with. Yo, Pessimistic Penguin, thank you for the brand new Prime. The story of this tournament has been the air roll right flicks for Moxie. Those of you who watched him play through the Fall 5K or maybe watched him play in any of his previous 1v1s know that he had one monster flick from one direction. He was so good at it, you can win tournaments with it. You know, there was really no reason to work on Errol Wright the way he was not being stopped. I guess he had a tough time with Ruas, but Ruas is giving everybody in the world a tough time right now. That being said, Moxie recognized his fault and decided to work on the Errol Wright flick. The problem that I've seen so far is it's yet to be seen whether or not that stole some power from his air roll left flick because we haven't seen him go to it as often. It used to get so much power from it. It seems like 
now he almost is so keen on practicing the arrow right version of it that we see that more often. Foxy, quick camera check, see what he's gonna have to deal with. Another one, I could possibly get information from that. I know I'm not in control of the camera, so I don't know what's about to switch, which doesn't help in trying to get information, but I see these players who snap it so fast. Are you really getting a read off what's happening there? Maybe they are. Zixi deciding not to make a play on that ball. He might have been able to kill that bounce, but I tell you what, leaving it to Moxie ended up being a great idea because Moxie gave absolutely nothing dangerous on that attack. I like this close shadow from Mizixi. Making Moxie feel like he can't just collect the ball and carry it to the box where he can make his flick. He feels like he's got to make an outplay early. And Mizixi ultimately coming away with a fourth goal. Moxie dropping it right in front of the net for Mizixi to take away. The prediction in chat was heavily in favor of Moxie. In fact, I'm going to go check and see where did it end. Because at one point it was like 95% Moxie. It ended at 84% Moxie. Chat really believes in the Frenchman today. But I think that's because they haven't gotten a good enough look at Mizixi. Mizixi, far from an 80 to 20% underdog in this match. Nice bump from Moxie, though. Tie it right back up. Do I think Chronic will be a top 10 pro this year? Is Chronic not already a top 10 pro? Hmm, interesting. I think he might have already achieved the title you're hoping for. Mizixi in control of this play right here towards the end of the game. Moxie trying to take back control. He flicks down to the bottom corner. Mizixi is actually able to cut Moxie away, but Moxie gets the boost first. Mizixi bumps him. It's still awkward in front of the net. Oh no. Mizixi did almost everything he needed to. Just needed a bit of a touch here as the ball bounced instead of just letting it float where Moxie could get there first. The double jump in reverse. Zixi with 12 seconds to work with. Will have his own boost. Moxie is going to drop it to him. First air dribble attack we've seen from Zixi, and he needs it to go in. Air dribble bump. Moxie powers through and clears the ball down the field to win game number one. Are we going to have another version of First Killer Cosmic where the favorite seems like they're struggling, but ultimately wins the game? Game number two. Moxie. Instantly bringing out the Carmine Court Fennec today, by the way. I think that's the benefit of being French. When you're French, you're allowed to start in it. Every other player I've watched always switches to it after a loss. But the French buff is that you're allowed to just begin the show match in the Carmine Court Fennec. Zixi. Strong flick. Moxie's just back in net, ready for it, though. Both these two have been accelerating this ball at a really fast pace to start this game. Swinging around clockwise of the arena. It eventually stops here now, and Moxie should be able to score. It's a slow bouncer, but he can follow it back up for the first goal. Moxie, what an interesting touch to get Mizixi to miss. This is a pretty impressive play from Moxie. I want to see what it looks like from Mizixi's perspective. Oh, is it just a no touch? I thought he slightly tapped it behind him, but it looked like just a complete fake on second look. Moxie to the back wall. Mizixi is in the perfect position. Moxie got a really weak finish. Where's Mizixi going? Where are you going, Mizixi? 
certainly you have to know. Oh, he thought for sure the ball. I mean, he just went all in. He thought Moxie was going to try and clear back to his corner. And he's like, oh, I'm going to pre-flip out there. And right as Moxie hits it to the corner, I'm going to be there to tap it in. It's going to be such a crazy read. That, that's what I think Mizixie must have been thinking. But instead, Moxie just drives around the ball and takes his free net. Power slide cut for Moxie. Sees Mizixi close, so what does he do? He waits. And low 50's in. That arrow right flick again. Just to show that he can do it when he has a wide open net. Could have done whatever he wanted. Moxie. Forcing Mizixi to use the little boost he does have. And a save to start this game. I'd be interested to see in a 1v1 tournament, you know, when you're when you're commentating, you stay slightly aware of it, but not as acutely aware as someone who's maybe tracking stats could. I think first possession off kickoff is a really interesting 1v1 stat. One of the most important. And if you guys looked at AJ after the last tournament, the tournament last night, he went into the lab to see in his replays why he was having such a tough time getting first possession off kickoffs and with a huge advantage in that stat I think you can really steal some games or make it almost impossible to be beat if you control the game that way so I'd love to have that information I don't know what it is right now for Moxie and Mizixi but it does seem like Moxie probably has the edge as he normally does in the kickoff game Gonna make it so hard for Mizixi. Mizixi makes the first save, but can't make the second. Who's the best 1v1 player of all time? I think everybody still has Fairy Peak as that answer. Direct kickoff for Mizixi. We talk about. I mean, that's a direct kickoff goal. That's a, that's a different kind of stat that I'm even talking to about, even though I think that should be included. Direct kickoff goals, this certainly counts as one, even though it took one additional touch. But also, first possessions are a huge stat that is maybe less clear, but can become impossible to come back from when you cannot control them. Moxie getting the sixth goal. Able to bring the 6C all the way into that back corner with him. It's interesting, I mean, obviously chat is going to divulge into talking about who the best 1v1 player is ever because I did respond to that one person, but there's always an argument that people like to make that the current players would destroy the previous ones. And I think in a new game, especially a new game like Rocket League, you know, just a few years old, that is true. I would, I would hope that all the new players would destroy the top players of old because the game is still advancing at such a rapid rate. Does that change the greatness of the players at the time? Not sure it does. Nice flick by Moxie. You know, there's simple things like people having not pioneering certain, you know, mechanics. And then there's ultra obvious things. Like when you started the game, you couldn't flip reset. You know, you landed on the ball and if you fell off, you didn't have your flip, which is such a, I mean, imagine that was taken away from the 1v1 game. The whole thing would be played differently. Not to say that, like, Fairy Peak dominated at a time that they didn't have that, but the point is the game has been changing so much. You can't necessarily compare across regions as, like, who would win. I, I would hope that the newer players who are dominating now would win in the matchups against the previous greats, but it's just because the game is so new. Nice pinch save from the Zixi. There will come a time in which a player's individual greatness surpasses the development of the game to the point where new players are potentially worse than the one who has since retired, but I don't think we're there yet. Moxie, his classic flick from distance. Mzixi is around. He needs six goals in a minute, so it is going to be quite the tall task 
for Mizixi. But not an impossible one. Not, what a tight angle. Maybe now it is impossible with seven. Does Fairy Peak even play? Yeah, Fairy Peak plays on Solary. And they made, I think, one, maybe two uh, regionals. They might have been in the Invitational one. So Solary is still around. I don't know how much 1v1 Fairy Peak plays. You'll see the occasional range game from him. Moxie just left the net completely open, right? What, what happened here? Is there a reason why he just wanted to wave dash around the map and just wants to wait out the 38 seconds, I guess? It's interesting how the 1v1 landscape almost mirrors the RLCS landscape, I would say, in the same way where back in the day when Fairy Peak dominated, there was probably a little bit less, you know, 1v1 tournaments, 1v1 games being played. In general, just like how RLCS originally was a lot less games being played. I think that was the case around Fairy Peak, whose a lot of his dominance came from just show matches, not like tournament wins. And I feel like we've moved into an era of ones that has a lot more games being played, a lot more tournaments to be won, which does make it a bit harder to stay at the top. Boxy, nice little reset to end the game. He wants a 10-4 finish. I think Scrub probably ekes out Fairy. I think Scrub is a lot of people's number two. What if the goats had today's mechanics? I mean, that's an impossible question to ask. If you guys like to watch, uh, if you guys like to talk about this stuff, by the way, we got raided by the perfect channel to talk about it. Hootie Who, who goes live around this time, actually usually ends around this time every day. These are conversations that he will talk to you about the entire stream. Definitely worth stopping by his stream. Game number three. Moxie versus Mizixi. What a save. <laughs> what a save indeed. I have the ultimate ability to stop goals. Not only can I pause the game to save them, but I can also just take them away if I really want to. But of course, I never would. I love the game too much. The integrity of it all. Moxie going to score first again. Moxie on zero. Let's stick around the net. He did force Mizixi inside, which means he'll probably be able to follow it up for something good. He's going to slowly take his shot. Yeah, here you are, unable to fix pings. Yeah, unfortunately, I cannot go wire a more direct connection from Mizixi's location to the server. All I can do is reset and hope to get a different server location that works better. Big shout out to Psionics, by the way. I just think about it again. This is a great flick. Hey, this is the classic Moxie flick. Set up right, arrow left, flicking through the ball. 102 kilometer per hour. He still has it in his arsenal. But Psionics really didn't have to give me the admin, in, and it's been very, very useful. So I very much appreciate that. I can't believe he didn't steal this corner boost. I guess he felt it would have been too much of a risk. He's going to take it now. Dixie's still fairly low. Moxie making sure to cut to the back wall in order to steal the corner. And it actually made his angle a bit too tough to shoot at. And seeing how Mizixi was not around, maybe he should have prioritized that a little bit more. Strong first touch from Moxie. Creates the chance for Mizixi to intercept it. But he's forced right back into defense. Nice read. On this air dribble, Moxie demos him though. Can he get around this for a shot? He's actually not even going to try to. Mo Wait, yes he is. He's setting up a wave dash to power slide cut around it. And I was convinced he was maybe going to take it back to the corner for a second. Maybe he was hoping to convince Mizixi of the same. But 
Bazixi was ready for it in nets. The problem is bazixi has been playing exclusively defense, so it doesn't matter if he can slow down Moxie and make him take minutes to score if he's never on offense himself. Might finally get a chance to be on offense after Moxie goes for a greedy pinch. He always gets power on it. But didn't have the accuracy this time. Bazixi flicking right. Got high enough to make Moxie miss and ultimately got outplayed as he tried to look for the second shot. He was really passive here. He did a slight turn in. I thought maybe he was thinking that that was going to be enough to get Moxie to back off. But Moxie sees that he can come and take the ball away. He thought the finals was AJ versus first killer. It was. That was the finals of the North American portion of the tournament. But we have... An EU server portion as well. That's what we're playing out here today. Bazixi not going to get skunked in this game. Very interesting decision from Moxie to jump onto the sidewall and then turn around. I thought if you're going to go that deep, you should make a play on the ball. But instead, Moxie decided to make his recovery as hard as possible by flying far away from the net. All right, that paragraph, I think, needs somebody to respond with chatting. I, I'm not going to be able to read the paragraph, but it's basically a law if somebody types a paragraph. Yeah, essaying. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that the, the person made a ton of great points, but you have to respond essaying, I think. It's like the rules. Moxie, wall to air dribble. Bazixi off the wall early and Moxie doesn't have to do anything. He can just let it bounce in. Bazixi was trying to get a read on that use of the reset. Moxie never used it. Zixi, nice demo. Should get a second goal. I have no issue with a nice hearty discussion. Certainly prefer a big paragraph over, you know, hate or anything mean being said in chat. Boxy. Gonna bump right back in the process of going up 7-2. On the path to a sweep against Mizixi. Trying to prove he's the better MZY player. Alright, I'll provide hate if you need. No, that's you don't have to. In fact, you can't. It'll be taken out of chat. Moxie, free opportunity. He's not gonna take it. Zixi dove aggressively his back half, and Moxie seems to just want to waste the time now. A minute left to go. Moxie flicks past Mizixi and makes it 8 2. By the way, how has Daniel's ranking changed since the Fear Fest finale? I think Daniel. He's obviously had a couple tough finishes compared to where he was at before. He was looking unbeatable around the end of Pro Drops where he took out, you know, the three other best players in the game who had all recently won tournaments. But now, with a loss to Chronic and a loss to AJ, not looking quite as strong. Still looking like one of the best ones players in the game. Moxie just driving around him as Ixie's half. Showing that he is not going down without a fight. Moxie moves on to give us the inevitable. We should have known it was always coming. Moxie versus Rawas will be happening after Khaled Razier's. Every single tournament I run seems to have that matchup, and we have it again. Moxie 3 0. 
over Mizixi in the EU Fear Fest finale quarterfinal.